Welcome to CompTIA A+, 220-1101, Quarter 1 exam. This is Objective 3.1, 568A and 568B. If you look at networks that are installed between different organizations, you'll notice that the method used for installing the network and even the colors that are used for each pin are exactly the same in every single one of these organizations. That's because we've created standards that provide us with guidelines on exactly how these networks should be installed. One of those international standards is the ISO IEC 11801 cabling standard. And in the United States or North America, you've probably heard of the Telecommunic Telecommunications Industry Association or TIA. The TIA standard for cabling is the TIA 568 standard, which is the Commercial Building Telecommunications Cabling Standard. And you can learn more about it on the TIA website at taaonline.org. There is a lot of information in this TIA 568 standard. But in this video, we're gonna talk about very specific part of the standard that deals with the colors of the wire that are on the ethernet connection. This part of the 568 standard provides you with two options you can use when punching down or applying different colored wires to your ethernet connection. If you look at an ethernet RJ45 connector or a punch down block that is used for ethernet, you notice that there are two different standards that are addressed. One is the 56A and one is 568B. These two standards provide us with the colors that we'll use for these connectors. These connectors have eight positions and eight connect conductor connectors. Most often the 568 coloring scheme is associated with horizontal cabling and in most organizations you'll probably find that connections for your end users are using the 568B color standards. Ultimately, it doesn't matter whether your organization chooses to punch down everything with A colors or B color standards. Both of these standards work exactly the same and have the same functionality. One is not better than the other. As a quick fact check, you may find in training materials and courses that define an ethernet crossover cable as a 568 color scheme on one side of the cable and 56B on the other side. In a future video on crossover cables, we'll visually show you how the A on one side and the B on the other side is, is not the same on the pinout. The 568A and B standards are only specific colors. They're not associated with crossover cables. If you wanna know how an ethernet crossover cable is designed, you can see that in a later video. Okay, let's look at the pins here. You can see that pin one and two are different on A. We're dealing with white and green versus white and orange. We can also see that the orange and green colors have also been changed between these two standards, between pins three and pin six. Interestingly, pins four and five and seven and eight are exactly the same between the A and B standard. Here are color schemes for 568A and 568B. We're talking from an Ethernet RJ45 connector, which has eight different wires inside of it. And you can see that they're numbered one through eight. These are the colors that you would use inside of that connector if you are wiring that connector for the A. You can see there is slight difference if you're wiring it for B. The way that you would tell what standard is in use is you can look at the back of an ethernet cable and see exactly what colors might be on this particular pinout. You can see on pins one and two that we have some orange colors and we can see that there's blue colors in the middle. If we overlay B colors, you can see that they match this particular connector exactly. So you can see 
that the person who created this cable decided to use 568B coloring machine. And if you looked at the other end of the cable, you would see exactly the same colors as well. Although many organizations do use 568B, you may run into organizations that prefer to punch everything down with 568A colors. So you may notice on punch down blocks or interfaces that you would install that the colors are assigned for A and the other colors are assigned for B. You can see on this block it shows you both color schemes. We have A color scheme along the top and B along the bottom. And you simply have to match it to the wires that you're installing. That seems pretty convenient. You can see in the description of the colors that blue colors are and brown colors are exactly the same between A and B standard. And that does correlate back to the colors that we were talking about earlier. Here's another example of a block that has different colors assigned for A and B. And you can see on this side of the block, we have the four colors that we would use for A or the four colors that we would use for B. If we were to turn this block around, we would see former colors that associate with four different connectors. Okay, we're at the end of our objective here. Okay, choose the correct color pattern for 568A. Is it brown, green, blue, orange? Is it green, blue, orange, brown? Is it blue, orange, brown, green? Or is it orange, brown, green, blue? And if we look at a pinout for A, yep, we can see that it is green and then blue and then orange and then brown. Thanks for watching.